<coughs> so, who's heard of these then? This is a Mewa Denki Otonatone. Their infamous sort of half theremin, half sort of guitar maybe thing. And this is fairly well known. There's a lot of videos on the online for people who can play this much better than I can. But what I learned is that four months ago, Mewa Denki made a sequel or rather a follow-up instrument. Actually, they have made follow-up instruments before because they made a thing called Mr. Noki, which basically is just a plastic thing which bangs on drums. But uh, a more interesting one was this fellow, the Gumbase, or Gombase. They pronounce it Gombase, which I suppose is technically more correct because the Gumbase is actually a real African instrument that uh, isn't this. So packaging much plainer than the Otamato. The automatone had a sort of fancy up and down box. This just has this very plain white box. So let's have a look. Instructions, quite brief. A rubber band. Oh, and that's all. Here's the actual unit. Oh, in the Wrapped in sort of fabric. This isn't paper. This is uh, where the opening is. There we go. The actual unit itself. Now, what this is, essentially, it's a case where they said, well, you know that thing where if you flick a rubber band, it makes a sort of low-pitched noise? Well, what if we actually make an instrument out of that? And this is not actually the first time that Mewa Denki have done this. There was um, a gum base in the original Nonsense Machines exhibit, though it was a full-size one. As this is the compact version. There are two versions. There's the beach compact, the cedar compact, and the straight, and the straight doesn't fold down into this square. So I expect we shall need to put in batteries. We got two, two triple A's. Getting a bit loose, no one knew. Uh, which way around is the switch? Well, we'll have to find that out. So now we have to unfold it, which is moving this out and letting this spring retain it until it's that shape. And then we wrap the band around it. If there's a proper way to wrap the band around it or not. Oh, ooh, that's tight, that's tight. I suppose it has to be tight. And then, oh, now this bit here, this bit is the pickup, which we have to slide into position there. Uh, now I think we should be good to go. So not producing sound. Is the switch in the wrong place? Oh, that's done. There we are. So you can hear, obviously, because it's an elastic band, it's quite an aggressive sound. effectively what it does. Um, it doesn't have a lot of other options. I wondered if there was a pitch correction option. Um, but as far as I can tell there isn't. You can just play any note you like. You just play, oh, sorry, play any tone you like. So if you want to get it in tune, well that's your own problem. So that's essentially all it is. It's not too expensive on its own. The problem is you have to get it drop shipped because they only actually issue them in Japan at the moment. 
Um, I think this is just volume. Yep. Oh, that, that disc is the pickup, so. So, there we are. That is our next otometer. We're going to be able to perform on it as well. Who knows? Now, as I should probably mention... Oops, hang on. Oh, hang on. That dial... That dial... Oh, there is a clip point. There is a clip point there. So there we are. And the point of all this stuff, by the way, is that you can take, let's turn it off. You can take the band off again and clip this back into position. Like that. And then wrap the band around it. Or sort of portable because you've got this annoying metal bit sticking out at the bottom. So there we have it. Gombase or Gombase. <laughs>